Welcome weeps and graphic designers, today we are going to review anime logos. Now I'm a graphic designer, I've been a graphic designer for about 2 years now and I've studied it for 5 and I'm a huge weep as you all know. So I thought what better idea than just put my knowledge out there by doing an anime logo review, combining my two hobbies kind of. And we got some spicy logos out here, we got the most popular anime and also some newer anime to also get the newer anime fans into the mix. So first off we got Bleach. Now funny enough I just recently read all of Bleach and I, I fucking loved it. The logo however is kind of a bit weird. Now keep in mind that every anime logo on this list is still a good logo in my opinion except maybe one or two. It's just I personally prefer some over others. So we got Bleach. Bleach, a very interesting logo. I really like the colors of, of the red, but the thing is that um, in this logo especially, I really don't like the, the shadow that is in the font, in the red. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit too much. So um, I'm a fan of this type of blue with red. Uh, I don't, I, I wouldn't put a gradient on it again. I feel like the form of this logo is already enough to make it stand out. I really like just the black and white version. However, just the colors are a bit too much. Still, I really like the Bleach logo for its form so we're going to put it in B tier. Now Demon Slayer. As much as I'm not the biggest fan of the first two seasons anime wise I really really like the Demon Slayer logo. It's pretty slick, it, it has some character, very contrasty, very colorful. I really like the idea of this logo, Um, I really like the form, the font is unique. The only criticism I have with this version though is that the Kimitsu no Yaiba part here feels a bit off. Everything feels a bit cruder, a bit hand painted, which reminds you of the Japanese calligraphy. But then you have Kimitsu no Yaiba in, uh, in, in fucking Ariel, like I, I can't support that. Though the rest is kind of nice. Uh, I'm a, I'm a approve of, of the Demon Slayer logo. I think that's an, an S here. Now the Chainsaw Man logo, a rather controversial logo though. I've seen many people didn't really like the English version of the Chainsaw Man logo because they say the, the Japanese version of the Chainsaw Man logo is better. And I personally, I like the Japanese font more. It's less cartoonish. So I agree that the Japanese is a bit better. But I feel like the, the English version works. And the spiky things on the Chainsaw, I don't know what what the fuck you you're, you're call them. I think they're way, way slicker on the English version. They, they have the spaces in between. It makes them look more modern. And I feel like this is a bit too much. It's, it's too exaggerated. It's too aggressive. Still a really great logo. I would say it's definitely better than the Bleach logo. Maybe we can, maybe I'll move the Bleach logo down a bit. Attack on Titan. Now the Attack on Titan one is an interesting one. While I think the Baroque type font kind of fits it very well because it's set in medieval type Times, though I don't really like the texture. The texture is just way too much. The kind of stony, metally texture. I know it should probably resemble the wall or, or the swords. For me, it's just too much. I really don't like the blood splatter as well. Maybe if they only would implement a blood splatter, then it could kind of work. But this... To me, as much as I like Attack on Titan, the logo is just a, a no-go. That's why on Attack on Titan merch they never used the logo. Instead they used this logo which is a symbol of the Scouting Legion. And I personally see why, because they can't really use the Attack on Titan logo on, on merch and stuff. They just use this. And it's way better. Firefox tier. Full Metal Alchemist. Now this is the Full Metal Alchemist logo and I personally think it's a bit boring. I prefer it over the Attack on Titan logo. I think the style is rather outdated. It looks like someone had its first go in Photoshop or something with all those gradients. It's literally me at 14 years old just playing around with Photoshop uh, styles, you know? The gradient on the font and then the gradient on the strokes surrounding it. I don't know, man. And then you add the most basic, the most basic grainy effect on the font. In every fucking zombie movie, they use this type of texture over the font. As much as it's an nasty anime for metal Alchemist belongs in the firefox tier along with the tech on titan i'm sorry i'm sorry i know i'm harsh hunter hunter now hunter hunter is known for being one of the most popular logos on merch and stuff and i can see why it sticks out immediately with the green x in the middle great color contrast and it's also very symmetrical because the hunter is mirrored downwards it's very easy to read and it stands out looks great i mean what more do you need from a logo? I think it's an easy idea. Now One Punch Man, I can say straight off the bat, it's a B-tier logo. It's really simple, it doesn't do anything too special, but with the easy to read font, above there with the sans serif font, 
the easy to read colors and the combination with the kanji here that doesn't interfere too much. I feel it's a great simple combination. Again, it, there's a gradient in there. Um, I'm not too fond of gradients in logos. I really like when logos don't use gradients. It just makes them look more readable, more slick, but it's simple, effective. It doesn't do anything extraordinary though. My Hero. Now you might say that the My Hero logo doesn't do anything special like the One Punch Man logo because the colors are really basic too. It's just red colors and yellow colors, but I think it's a bit different. My Hero really has that Marvel feel in terms of logo, that red Marvel feel, which I believe is also the inspiration maybe for One Punch Man, but this has a way more marvel -y feel with the logo in above being in negative against the red background, and then you have the really comic-esque font with a huge, huge black stroke. So I think the My Hero logo really fulfills its purpose for not only showing you that it's a logo about a superhero show, but it also does that with style. So that's why it's an easy A tier. I'm gonna be honest, I hate the Naruto logo. I, I said it, I said it. Naruto fans, kill me. Kill me. Come come to my house and kill me. I know the spiral in the background is iconic. I know the logo in general is iconic, but it's way too complicated, especially, and again, I said it millions of times, I'm not the biggest fan of gradients in logos. They literally added two strokes for the logo, like one white and then one black stroke. Then they put in way too many colors. They added a blue shadow and the spiral in the background that is pink. And to add to all that, they used this very, very aggressive gradient, not on the entire font, but on every single letter, which makes it even more messy. I, I don't know. I hate this logo. I think it's the worst logo on this list, Death Note. The Death Note logo is an other easy S tier for me. Everything just works in this logo. It's very stylish with the dots in the middle of the O and the D. I really like the handwritten font, which is also not to being written in a book. The T's look like gravestones. So you already have the gravestone connection, the connection to death mixed with the writing. So you kind of already get just from the logo what the story is about. And it's just like Death Note itself. It's a really easy premise, but it does so much. It's a really easy logo, but it explains everything. And it, it is so powerful. I love the Death Note logo. I personally think it's the best logo on this list. Sorry, it online. I'm gonna be honest, it's the most basic bitch ass logo on this list. It's way more basic than the One Punch Man logo. The gradient is so boring. I hate the blue gradient and it doesn't even look like anything that the show portrays. The show portrays a death game. It looks more like a drama or a romance story with having this colors of the sky, very emotional, but still rather calm, which the, the story just isn't. I think it's really, really boring, nothing to do with the show. The kanji and the font is the most basic bitch ass font that you can ever have. I'm sorry, sorry to online fans if I bash you too hard. If you need to go to the hospital, just remember, don't send me the hospital bills. Blue lock, blue lock. We have a new one and I really like the blue lock logo as well. Surprise, surprise. I picked this one. There are different iterations. For example, this one as well. I just really like that they used the layout of the blue lock infrastructure for training and added it into the logo. It just makes an instant connection with the logo. And even if you don't know what the show is about, it makes you wonder what the fuck is this? Oh, the font is rather simple as well. It feels a bit edgy as well, which the show Show definitely is i mean look at this panel <laughs> it's simple it does its job well and we know if it's simple and stylish then it's a great logo a tier as well Binet saga is very very similar to the berserk logo if you if you take a look color wise and aesthetic wise but i think if i had to choose then i would even put this a few tiers above now why 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 would i do that the thing is i've just seen it a million times just the fact that it has the dirt effect the sword portrayed as a knee, which I've seen so many times in, in logos about medieval shows. Like this logo is the epitome of I've seen it already, right? Now in contrast, the Berserk logo just does a whole lot more. The special effects make it look more like handwriting. Definitely feels like more aggressive version of the Vinland Saga logo. I really like the interaction with the kanji there, making the R negative. I don't know, it just has a lot more emotion. So that's why the Berserk logo for me goes in A tier and the Vinland Saga logo goes in C tier. 
tier. Jujutsu Kaisen. Now, I said I wasn't a fan of gradients. Though Jujutsu Kaisen does it really subtly. I really like the gradient in JJK. First of all, the font of Jujutsu Kaisen works because it, it's literally used in the show as style elements. The Eve music video used a lot of the font as well. It's just an iconic font throughout. It just makes you feel of something very ominous, something extraterrestrial. I really like just the alien feeling of the font mixed with the very, very nonchalant gradient. So I think this is a good contender for an A tier logo. Made in Abyss. Dude, Made in Abyss logo is fantastic. I really like the logo because it kind of reminds me of the main feel you get in the first episode. It's very adventurous. However, what I really like about the Made in Abyss logo as well, it's that it's a bit of a trap. It really makes you think, oh my god, this is just a show of kids, right? It, it gives you that Madoka effect where you think, oh, this is this kind of show and then subverts your expectations. And that even makes it even more iconic. I really like the logo. I think it's an S tier as well. It's simple, but very effective. Again, a trend with the logos here. Spike's Family. Now, Spike's Family really falls in the same trend as One Punch Man. It does the stuff with it being really basic. I like that we have something a bit simpler here, but it's just so hard to associate it with a slice of life spy manga. If you would ask me what is Spy Family about just by showing me the logo, I actually don't have a fucking clue. It just has the same problem with the One Punch Man logo that it's just not daring enough for me. Let's put it in B tier. And this is our list. This is our logo list. I hope you enjoyed this review of different anime logos. If you enjoyed, leave a like and submit some more animes that I can make a logo review if you want a part two. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.